If you want to export test results that will later be imported into another test system, you can use the VTS data export function. To do this, we first go to the test results tab and select the records that we want to export. We now click on the black and white WTS icon next to export in the menu. We now select where we want to save the export file and give it a name. That's it. If you want to export the test results to the SPSS format, Select the required records and then click on the white and red SPSS icon. We can also export test results into a CSV file. However, we see that the CSV button is inactive. This is because we must first create a CSV export profile. To do this, we need to go to the Settings tab. Here we need to click on Data Export Import and then on the Open Management button. In the next step, we're going to create an export profile for the Stroop test, Interference test. To do this, we click on New and enter a name for our export profile. We name our export Stroop S10 Profile. and confirm this with OK. We now click on our profile here in the left hand column to edit it and add test variables. Under test forms we can select Stroop S10. All the variables of Stroop S10 that we can select for our export definition are now displayed below. Now we want to add the variable MDRTF1. To do this, we select the variable and click on Add Variable at the top here in the menu. The variable then appears down here in the variable list with a tick next to Raw Score. If we want to export the percentile rank as well as the raw score, we need to add the variable a second time. We then click once on the white box in the PR column. A drop-down menu appears and here we can select the required norm sample. Here we select representative norm sample 1030, 1030. We now save the export profile by clicking on save here in the menu. Our export profile is now set up. We now close the profile management and go back to the test results tab. We see that the green and white CSV button in the export menu is now active. Next, we select the required test result and then click on the CSV button and enter a name for the export file. Now we need to select the required export profile.
our CSV file is now created. That's it. Importing test results from another test system is also straightforward. Once again, we go to the Test Results tab and then click on the Import button. Here we can select the file that we want to import. That's it.